Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you how I make my blended watermarks. There are many ways, but this is the simplest one. So without further ado, let's get into it. In this method, you need to find scenes where there is any flat surface, like this one. Here we already have a reference, so we can try to make our watermark look alike. Make sure that your timeline indicator is at the first frame. Then go to tracker, track motion, and choose the tracking point somewhere here. And increase the size like I do. Now go to options and make sure this is set to stop motion and analyze forward. The tracking looks fine so now let's add the text. Go back to this composition and select this and type your name or anything you want. Now the font is the most important part here. In this case since we're gonna mimic our reference here we need to choose a font that looks similar. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go for Arial Black here. Now go to this composition, select this layer, go to Tracker and select Edit Target. Now choose your text here, click Apply and make sure this is set to X and Y. You can see that the text is tracked, now we need to change the position. Select the text layer, press U to view the keyframes and select all the keyframes and move it until you find a good position. We see that some of the last frames is not tracked, so we need to do it manually. Here we can see that there is slight increase in the size of the table, so in order to match that, press S and put a keyframe at the start and increase the size a little bit. Now it's looking better, but the size is still big, so let's decrease it by selecting both the keyframes. Make sure to keep your indicator at one of the two frames, otherwise you will create another keyframe. Now decrease the size a bit. Now to make it look more blended, add Gaussian Blur from Effects and Presets and copy my settings. Now add Drop Shadow and copy my settings. Then open the opacity by pressing T and reduce it until it looks blended. And now it looks perfect. Now create an adjustment layer above the text layer by pressing Ctrl Alt Y and add any color corrections of your choice. I'm gonna use my Vate CC. You can also find this and other presets in my store. And now the watermark is done. That's all for today guys. Leave a like if this tutorial was helpful and subscribe for more. See you soon.